Hi everyone, we'll get started here in just a few minutes. As you come in, go ahead and introduce yourself in our chat, drop your name, city, country, Twitter handle. We're gonna be building our personal learning network today. What do you teach? How long have you been Minecrafting? Welcome, come on in. Welcome Deepak. Good evening, late night for you. Thanks for dropping in your Twitter handle there. We'll be sure to follow you. Two years, awesome. Welcome Neil, just coming in. If you're just coming in everybody, you can go ahead and find the chat. Drop in your name, where you're at, and we'll get started in just a few minutes. Hey Susan, from Miami Beach, send us the sunshine and the waves. We're there with you in spirit. Welcome Kathy, come on in. Thank you. Hey Jacob, come welcome. Hey Kyle, woo, we got some Minecrafters in the house. You are so late, Deepak. Next time we are going to hold one in your morning. Thank you for staying up for us. True, true spirit with you. <clears throat> Jacob, 20 plus years in Texas, two years. Well, one, two years in Minecraft years is like 20 real years. So, <laughs> hey, Neil, great to have you here from Jersey. Jersey and the Channel Islands. Ooh, very cool. Hello, Diego from Bogota. Such a global group today. Hey, Dino. We got David. 21 years. David barely edges out so far. Our warrior, Jacob, is 20 years. Anybody beat Neil? 21 years here. Hi, Minecrafter. Hello, John. Great to have you. Minecraft for five years. That's amazing. Folks, as you're seeing all these amazing Twitter handles coming through, I encourage you to set up your screens today. Make your teams uh, minimize, make it half, because we're going to have a hands-on workshop today. So get your teams all set up, move that box, and then go ahead and open up your browser. Maybe open up Twitter, start following and saying hi to people like John on Twitter so you can keep following the magic afterwards. Oh my gosh, you guys, sorry. Dino just took the cake, 29 years in education. Hey, Eric, welcome to the meeting. Great to have you here. Some folks coming in from the lobby. Lunchtime for some of us on the West Coast. It's late night snack time for Deepak in India. 25 <clears throat> years, happy. I love it. OK, we're going to give just two more minutes for folks to come in from the lobby. So keep those introductions rolling. Twenty years, Eric. Awesome. Minecraft player for ten, teacher for three. So Eric's on the whole spectrum there. I love it. Hey Amanda, welcome to the welcome to the workshop. If you just came in, folks, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Thanks, Eric, for dropping your Twitter. Oh my gosh, we've got a geek question in the house. Original days in, of Infiniminer. Oh, we got Tide. Misha's up in the house with 29 years as well. Another Texan. Connect with your um, with some fellow Texans in the call. Three years Minecrafting and counting. Dino's got some Amanda love. Hello, Mrs. Mohammed. <laughs> we got a party. Okay. Christiana's just come in. Awesome, Jeff, Amanda. 
Amanda, you're just starting to get to grips with Minecraft this year. I love it. Um, it's always a it's a journey, and so glad to have you on the journey with us today. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, we got a buddy, Dino. Dino brought friends. Did anybody else bring friends today? Do we have yes, any please. teachers or people in, in uh, the Jalapeno thing? chips, if we have them, and water or Chico, Tapo Chico, if we have it. Dino, that sounds incredible. Um, we will take your jalapeno <laughs> chips for sure. Um, so folks, as you come in, go ahead and mute your mic. We know it's lunch times here and we are just about at quorum. Oh, it's Jacob. No worries, Amanda. Anything goes in a meet, that's for sure. All right, guys. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to turn on my camera here. Hi, everyone. I'm Wendy. Um, we have some fun folks in the house today. I'm going to turn my notifications off so we, we can uh, keep cruising. Oh, we got a couple more people coming in the lobby. Welcome. So this is our new community hub walkthrough um, for Minecraft Education Edition. So happy to have you all here. This is our second of many um, community events we hope to hold throughout the year to celebrate all of you, to help create connections, uh, and to help you on your, your journey to Minecraft, whether it's one day, one year, twenty maybe one day it'll be 29 years, like um, our, our leading teacher in the house. Um, thanks, Alex, for taking care of our lobby. He's our, our nice host today. So keep those introductions coming if you've just come in. Hey, Chris, 15 years in Ontario. We've got some Canadians in the house. Hello from Italy. From Italy. Don't mention it. All right. We're going to keep going, everybody. Um, if you miss anything at any time, don't worry. This is recorded. We'll send it back to you. And of course, you can always reach out to us. We're happy to help you on email. Um, mcedu at microsoft.com to help you out with our community hub. With that, who all is here? We've already heard we're from all over the country. And go ahead and mute your mic if you're just coming in. Perfect. Uh, but check out our tiers of community. There's many ways you can get involved with the Minecraft education community. We've got some mentors in the house. You can see our blue folks. These are our sign up. If you're a mentor, can you unmute real quick and say, hey? Hey. <laughs> awesome mentors. Hey. Great to Hello. have you here. Oh, wonderful. Um, our mentors are folks who are experienced in Minecraft and have signed up to be a part of our mentor program to support other community members. Some of you might be mentors in waiting. We have been revamping our mentor program. So if you are on our wait list, um, stay tuned. We should have some new invites coming down the pike. Yay, Amanda, you're just um, baking. You're, you're, you're still still baking and uh, hopefully here in the next week or so, you, got, you all should get an email. How about certified teachers, meaning you win through the my Minecraft learning journey on the Microsoft Educator Center. All of my certified teachers, can I get an unmute and a hello? Hey, hello. Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> hello. Hi. I love hello. it. Hello, everyone. Hey, guys. W wonderful to have the certified teachers here. Um, our mentors are also certified teachers. Um, and if you aren't yet, um, there's a brand new course online um, through through the MEC where you can achieve your certified teacher badge. So we hope to have you join that community and we hope to offer certified teachers some new opportunities, connections, meetups. So certified teachers, stay tuned. How about community badge? That means you've made a profile on our website and have signed up for a newsletter. Can I get a hello from some of our um, community badge members? Want to unmute and say hi? Hello again. Hello again. We got triples, right? A lot of Ooh. you might have all three. <laughs> Wonderful. Hola. Our, advi our advisory board members, if you um, work with Susie Tinker and work closely with us to help um, hear what schools need and help drive the direction of the product, our advisory board members, can we get a hi, unmute and hi? Uh, hello again. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, I love that Minecrafter guest. Thanks for that feedback. Um, we are exploring ways for students, parents um, to receive badges and communities. So I'm so glad you brought that up. Wonderful. OK, and then we also just have other. So those might be some of our parents in the house. If you are an other um, soon to be recognized other, can we get a hello from everyone else in the crowd? Microsoft team. <laughs> hello. Hi. Awesome. 
Thanks, everybody. Well, we host these meetups in teams because we do like to see some folks to turn on to have the chat. So sometimes it can be a little messy, but um, we love it because it's fun. So just to recap, um, if you want to join us on this journey, um, you of course can get your community badge today by making your profile. We'll show you how to do that. Um, you can get certified, take that online course, or some of our partners um, who are also mentors give trainings um, both virtually and face to face virtually right now. And then you can apply to be a mentor on our website. So we'll show you those resources today and we hope to have you all within our ranks and our new badges in the future as well. I know I've got some Minecrafters in the house. So we've got some folks who work on our support end. Um, I, I saw Kyle say hello. Kyle, do you want to say hi? Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Kyle, Kyle is our uh, the, the force behind uh, all the support that happens. Um, Kyle, what's your favorite thing that you see when, when the community comes online? He's there every day with a smile. What's your favorite thing about working with the community? I'd say my favorite part about working the community is definitely working with new teachers and uh, really that feeling that new teachers get when they're able to bring a fun and exciting Minecraft experience into their classroom. Yay! Awesome. Thanks, Kyle. We have Alex who's been in the lobby greeting, meet and greeting and being our host. Want to say hey real quick, Alex? Sure. Yeah. As the social media and content manager, I love mixing and mingling. So the lobby is the place to be for me. And I love, I love, 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 love seeing all the social output from all the folks day after day uh, on the call. I see you on this chat and I love seeing you everywhere. Thanks, Alex. Thanks for being our host. Be sure to tweet at, um, at PlayCraftLearn right now and say hi to Alex. Um, <laughs> all right, cool. Do we have any other folks in here? We got, um, I've got Adam. Adam, do you want to introduce yourself? Adam works with Kyle and Carrie, who's not here today, but you've probably seen Carrie's beautiful avatar in the community helping you out. Um, all, both Kyle, Carrie, and Adam are, are really true advocates for your voice um, to the product. Um, hey, Adam, so, gr so glad to have you. Hey everybody, super excited to be here. Love Minecraft education uh, community. You guys have been really amazing and I love, love all of you guys who are working from home right now, being able to use the, the product to, to really engage your class. Awesome. Adam's going to um, take us take over in a little bit to walk through how you can find some great support, how you can get help when you need it, read some of the awesome articles that are on the site. Perfect. If there's any other Minecrafters lurking, um, go ahead and say hi in the chat. We are going to keep cruising. Um, with that, um, today, everybody, we're going to dive right in to the new website. Um, and I'll paste that in the chat in case you don't have it. Here we go. So join us right now. Remember when you first came in, I said, go ahead and set up your screen. Because we're going to run this a little hands on, we um, want you to walk through it with us. Now's your time to play around. We have some prizes, as you can see here in our agenda for engaging and checking it out. So go ahead and click and open. We will go pretty fast, so I'll keep cruising. And if you get hung up on something, drop it in the chat. We can help you out afterwards. But we do want you to, to try and walk through some of this with us today. So find yourself at our new community hub. I'm going to take off the screen and come into the hub and show you our community guidelines. A lot of you, I recognize your names. Um, you've already created a profile. We're going to stop for a moment and just um, for those who haven't made one yet, show how to do that. Hey, Deepak, so great to see your face. Um, then I'm going to show you how to follow stuff because we are going to start um, updating this a bunch and we really want to make sure that uh, it, you find the area that really matters to you like events or you want to know latest update from the product we'll show you how to follow that so you can get it in your inbox then we're going to go to the regional forums because as you can see it's super global in here so we really want to make sure that Deepak can find other educators um, in India and that we've got Colombia and Italy here so we really want to start pumping in some um, amazing teachers from around the world into those regional forums so you can talk about Australian standards or Indian standards and what that means um, so we'll, we'll pop in there we have a prize alert there for our first person to post in there so stay tuned then um, Adam's going to walk us through support um, and Kyle's here as well so he'll just show you you know, how do you look through all of the amazing stuff that's there? How can you find resources? 
then reach out to our community um, and our mentors on the call. We're so excited. We have a new opportunity to be a moderator, a leader in our community um, that a lot of you already signed up for. So Kyle and Adam, we've got a, a good crew at the ready for you. Uh, then I'm going to go to feedback and wish list, and that's where our developers are really interested in, right? We want to help you guys find out how can you put features you want or things you wish you worked a different way. Um, how do you read and see if other educators already asked for that? Upvote it, and that will help Kyle and Adam and Carrie package that in a nice way to give to our developers because they have so many things they want to add to the game, and they really need us to quantify that in some way. Your voice there is exactly the right potion. Maureen, we're gonna walk through right now. Let us know if there's any questions on the agenda, but we're gonna fire away. Before I get off my slideshow, just a quick pitch for Remote Learning Month. So if you like these kind of events, I've had the uh, short link here on the screen. Sign up, we have Wednesdays every um, week throughout September, and we'll be walking through exactly how to teach a remote learning lesson. A lot of our mentors on the call are actually joining us as special guests, so thank you mentors if you are. Um, let's go, so come on and join me. Don't, don't leave the actual call, um, but minimize it if you need to, or um, put it to the left-hand corner of the screen. I'm gonna stop sharing my deck. And now I'm gonna come share. There we go. So y'all should now see the community hub. Everybody see it okay? All good? Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna show, show for a couple seconds and then stop and see if anyone needs help. So on the right hand side here, you can sign in. And so you're, I signed up myself all the way out so I can show you from the, from the beginning. Here you can choose between your Office 365. This would be your account um, that your school has Microsoft in, right? So probably keep it to that. That's the same account you have, Minecraft Education Edition. If you're brand, brand new, I know quite a few folks on the call might be just getting started. Make sure you go up here to get started. Um, uh, this is back on our other site, but make sure you have Minecraft Education Edition. Um, this is different than our Bedrock program. This is specially made for schools and educators. Um, so go ahead and choose which one you have. If you um, want to use a different account than your Office 365, I'm going to show you an MSA account today. That might be my Xbox account or um, uh, my consumer level uh, uh, Microsoft account. So you can see it's working super duper hard in the background there to get me all linked up. And if you already have an account, of course, you'll just sign right in. And there I am. It has signed me in. And now when I go to my top right, I'll see everybody starts out um, their very first time just as Minecraft. Um, but here you can see your activities, your profile. This is how you get to Kyle and Adam if you have a true issue that you can't figure out. We hope though that you take a bit to search, and this is what Adam will go through in a bit, um, before you find your way to submitting a help request. Um, David, go ahead and tell us in the chat maybe what your error is, and Adam um, or Kyle can help out. I'm gonna keep going though. Once you click on your profile, there's a quick note here, something to share everybody that this is um, a true beta. Um, all developers work, um, you know, getting out what we call our most lovable products. So this is a very first edition of this new site. So you're going to find things that you want to work better. I'll show you in a moment where you can go give us that feedback. And we really hope you do because um, we are working every week to prioritize what we should change. So right now, when you go to edit your profile, um, you, you're going to see just this information, a description. Uh, later, in about two weeks, it'll take you to our more robust profile that mentors you might be familiar with from um, our lesson plan site where all of our resources are. Um, it's going to allow you to edit the, the more robust details of your profile. So we'll be sure to cover that in two weeks or so when, um, when this feature comes out. But for now, let's just make sure you can log in and you're in our community hub uh, for now. So I'll stop there for a moment. Um, everybody should be on, on our community hub and hopefully you're, you're signed in at the top. It shouldn't say sign in anymore. Awesome, I love there's some testing going on. Um, 
Great. Yeah. Maybe try um, an MSA right now, David, and we're, we'll look into that for sure. Thanks, everybody. You're all of our lo very lovely guinea pigs for our new site. And I think I've got some fun music in the background. If you want to make sure if you can mute. I like it, though. So it's maybe it's Alex's. It sounds like Bobby. <laughs> all right. Good. Awesome. It seems like everybody signed in who can be signed in. One moment, I think I can mute. Oh, there we go. Boop. Okay, cool. So now that you're um, hopefully logged in, great. You'll try Chrome. Thanks, um, David. Give it a go, and we'll we'll be sure to follow up on that bug and see what's going on with it. So, just some lay of the land here, everybody, on your homepage. There's a really nice article after today that walks you through step by step how to do everything um, that we're going to show you. So you could bookmark that to come back to later, but we're going to demo all that today. Another really good thing to um, check out would be our events page. That is um, where we'll post new webinars, our learning series. So um, don't forget to, to follow that. And I will ask you to do your very first um your very first assignment go ahead and press follow i would recommend follow the events one that's what you're at today so i'll go back click through on that home page and then go to watch and go ahead and click a follow there and now you'll get updated when carrie or myself edit this for new community events let us know if you have any issue following but hopefully you guys do that OK, drop any questions. I'll keep going, everyone. Um, here's also where you can see a bunch of articles about the community, such as our community agreements. Um, and you can see here, um, this is really a place where we want to nurture your passion, encourage growth, celebrate your knowledge. That's why we are really excited to have mentors join us as moderators to help and grow each other. Um, and loyalty and trust, right? Like, um, we hope you come in here and talk about um, ways that you can teach and maybe struggles you're having. But in order to do that, we do need um, you to be cool, kind, and civil. We took this from the Minecraft Bedrock community. But even if you're frustrated about something, we hope you always stop and, and frame it in a way that could be towards solution oriented or positive, right? So if something's frustrating you, please come and share it. Um, but definitely try to be um, embody the Minecraft spirit and doing that in a cool, kind way. Um, and of course, we really want you to try to search for stuff, right? Um, Kyle knows how badly um, certain features are wanted, but repeating it a bunch doesn't help our developers. Really make sure and see if it's, if it's already there um, and have fun. We hope you all have fun. And of course, we hope you um, help us with this. So share with us if there's anything that you want to add or change to our community guidelines. OK, now everybody, could you join me? If you ever want to get back to the home page of the Community Hub, you can press the logo. You can press Community Hub Home. Um, if you press up here, Minecraft Education Edition Home, that'll take you to where all of our awesome lesson plans are, um, how to get started um, with your account, everything. Um, but for now, this is just our hub, and that's what we're going to focus on today. And thanks, everyone. Looks like there's some nice um, troubleshooting going on in the chat. Now, everyone, if you could go ahead and click on Community and Support. I'll give everyone a moment to join us here. Perfect. All right, once you're here, we've got three main buckets for um, ways you can interact with each other. There you can see is our agreements and um, how to get started, how to reach out to support. If you ever forget, it's all right there. I'm going to start us off with teaching with Minecraft, our teaching forums, and then Adam's going to talk us through a little bit on how to get help. Um, so with teaching, could everybody join me? Ooh, I lied. Can everyone go to Global Regions, actually? And what I'd like you to do, we're going to give three minutes um, for our prize, and we'll see who can get it done first. Um, go to your region. So if you're in, and we have these just by an initial um, organization. So if uh, you normally see your country in a different organization, just let us know. This is how um, our teams most often work with countries within these regions. So if it doesn't make sense to you, just let us know. We're always open to feedback. So for me, I would find USA. So go ahead and open that up. And now what I'd love for you to do is make a new post. And specifically, um, a lot of you already introduced yourself in that introductions post, 
But I'd love for you to share a bit more since now you're in the US forum or the India forum. Go ahead and introduce yourself and maybe a little bit more about what it's like to teach at your school or in your city. Do you have specific standards um, that you have to teach to, um, right? And that way other teachers from India or other teachers from Italy can find you here and maybe connect to you, right? Might reply to you and say, oh my goodness, we're also doing a project on Italian history. Let's connect. So let's all take three minutes, find your regional, po re find your regional um, forum topic. Drop your title in, so it might just be like, hi, from Portland, that's from where I'm at, or it might be Wendy from Portland, however you want. And then go ahead and type out, um, again, just a short introduction, but to make it different from your other introduction, really reach out and say, talk to other teachers who might be in your region. Is there something you want to know? Is there something inspiring that you've done? Um, and then go ahead and press submit when you're done, and then we'll take a peek. So I'm going to put three minutes on the timer in the chat. Let us know if you're having troubles, but um, and then in the chat, let us know when you're done and our first one done. We'll check through and you'll be our first prize winner of the Community Hub walkthrough. Don, oh my gosh, Amanda is done. Amanda was done 30 seconds ago. I love it. Amanda, you're in US, right? Let's see. Ooh, there's Eric. Wait, oh wait, Amanda, are you somewhere else? Cause I don't see you in US now. I see Eric two minutes ago. Thanks, Eric. Perfect. So now folks can hopefully reply to Eric um, and reach out to him. That's great. Any other Florida teachers or Southeast teachers or US teachers can connect. I love that. Hey, J Jacob, great to have you here. Woo, you're in San Antonio. Awesome. So now here's where like, I know Jacob was from Texas. We have someone else from Texas here. Maybe you're going to go to TCEA or something in the future when we can. I love it. Um, you can't get the page to open. Here you go, Scott. How about, oh, thank you, Adam. Adam's got gotcha. you. Ms. Peden, where are you at, Amanda? I couldn't find you. We got Mark coming in the lobby. I'll give about two more minutes, I had, everyone. I had to refresh. He <laughs> had to refresh, and now you're there. Okay, here we go. Ooh, we got Dino from SoCal. So while we're waiting, everybody, once you get your post out, then I want to challenge you to now go one step deeper and then go find somebody in your region. Maybe you don't have anyone else, so you can go out of your region. Find somebody, read theirs. And this is what community is all about, right? Look for someone that resonates with you, right? Maybe you're also from there, or maybe you also teach chemistry, or maybe you also um, teach with elementary school. Then I um, encourage you to go ahead and reply to them. One pro tip when you reply, if you want to get one, Susan will get notified anyway. Um, when you get a reply. So that's great. That way it doesn't get lost in the ether. Susan's going to get pinged. But if you're in another thread as well and you want to make sure Susan hears about it, you can just tag her in it. That's my best practice to make sure. If I Otherwise, sometimes people might not get it. So I want to make sure people get my message. Um, how awesome, which grade level do you like the most in K-5, right? That's hard. Are you a K person, a 5 person, or all the things? And then you press submit and now Susan's going to get my comment there as well. Awesome. And now we can really keep threading down and, and talking all with Susan. So make sure you guys get your reply there. You'll notice um, once I reply, I'm also following this topic. So I'm going to get um, email reminders about it. So maybe if you ever want to unfollow that, you can. But typically you want to, right? Especially just in these early stages. More as you start getting more involved in the community, you might want to take it down a notch to free up your inbox. All right, let's see any questions in here. We're all good. Hmm. Sorry, Elaine. Let's um I think we'll have Adam and um Kyle follow up with you for sure. Sorry about that. All right, let's see who else we got with our outside of the USA. Let's see, we got can I know some Canadians in here. There's Dean. Someone say hi to Dean. There's someone else from Canada in here too. Come on in from Canada and say hi to Dean maybe. Awesome. Let's see, we should have some Australian, New Zealand folks. Oh, nobody on the call yet. If you're, oh, I guess we're, we're pretty early for them for this one, but hopefully if you are later, you can come on in and maybe chat with Oliver in there. We should have some Europe in the house. Let's see if, yeah, there's Amanda. We got Amanda in here three minutes ago. 
Laura, Laura on the call with us today. Did you say hello? You did. You were four minutes ago. Laura, you could be. I'll have to check with Amanda. Amanda was the first one in the chat. Let me go back and see. Was Amanda the first one in USA? It was close. <gasps> Goodness, I think it is. Oh, Amanda was four minutes ago. Oh, no, it, I think it was Eric, you guys. Eric might be our winner. Um, I'll, I'll go through and double check, but Eric, you can email me at mcedu at Microsoft to, to claim your prize, but I will, I'll triple check and make sure there wasn't anyone else. Let's see here. I know we've got Deepak. Deepak, did you get into Asia? That's such a big, a big, big group, but um, Deepak, make sure you drop your hello in there and we can start populating this. Okay, any questions, folks? Thank you for introducing yourselves, replying. Hopefully you got a reply in. Any questions? He started, oh my gosh, Ms. Pete, and I think you're right. We had a we had an early, early assignment starter. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Oh, we got Steven in the house. Hey, Steven, are you here? All right. Steven, Let's keep, me? me? Hi, Steven. Great to have you here. Want to give hey. a quick community hello? I know Steven's a huge advocate for us um, building and growing our community. Any tips to have an engaged community in a forum atmosphere, Stephen? What would you tell all these amazing teachers? Uh, uh, yeah, so I mean, my only building community, especially around games based learning, is it's vital that everyone is as active and as supportive as can be. And I know it, you might think, well, that kind of goes without saying, but the games based learning is one of those industries, particularly one of those fields where we get two. Well, you really get one chance at making this work in a in a, in a school environment because there's two critical uh, issues that, that that we come up against when we're trying to kind of make community and make experiences around game based learning work successfully. And the first is fear. The first is this idea that when we put what we believe in 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 terms of games based learning curriculum and pedagogy to schools, we get this this almost fear reaction. We're still at that stage. It's still young. It's still new. It's still being researched and people don't want to kind of dip their toes in the water. And we need to work together as a community to really uh, to really get past that. And the second thing is apathy. The second issue is apathy, which is much more difficult. And that's caused by when we get this wrong. If we don't come together as a strong community, we don't support each other. We don't paint this hugely positive picture of the curriculum and pedagogical strength of Minecraft in the classroom. We develop apathy among clients and customers and and users out there and that's so much more difficult to beat so you're the front line um as far as we're concerned and <laughs> I, if you need anything in the way of support from me please just reach out thanks Stephen. really appreciate you Stephen is going to be part of our lineup for remote learning month next um next month and so he'll be uh, at the very end of it with an entire multiplayer week to walk you through how to um, get to esports and collaborative lesson building and beyond so thanks Stephen, and it, it, it's great for all of us here all of you were passionate enough to come today at lunch or 12 30 in the morning like deepak um, we need all of you to help fill our community so our team will do the best we can to design this to work for you we'll listen to you when you say eh, i think we need this topic or i can't sign in right right we are here for you to design it and our mentors are really going to be crucial to being the leaders in here. We hope to um, have some regional leads to either host virtual events or get topics going. Um, you all are out there. Our goal is to just get you in one place where you can find each other really easy. Um, that's our goal. So thanks, Stephen. Um, I'm going to show one more um, forum that I, you should probably earmark for now, but monthly build challenges is a good one to go ahead and follow, right? So you can, when you do press follow, you can do just new posts or just new posts and comments if you're super passionate about it. Um, and so here we'll drop, Alex is really great at um, sharing all the new monthly build challenges like the August challenge of creative classrooms. Um, you can see here now, I've posted in here, if you post a picture of your creative classroom, we got prizes. So come in here, practice replying with an image, right? You can drop a, a screenshot right in there. Um, eligible only till August 31st, and then we're going to have our new challenge come up for September. But keep posted, and then we hope you can share things like things you learned or best practices out of that challenge here. Um, we really hope some good discourse and conversation about each of these challenges can come up. 
All right, folks, um, with that, I'm gonna switch gears from these teaching forums where we, we hope you follow over to our Get Help Forum. And we've got kind of three different places where you can find yourself. And then of course, when you really are in a pickle and you need to, um, you know, really need one-on-one -on -one help to solve it, then you'll um, get beyond the moat to Kyle and Adam um, and our support team. So, hey, Adam, wanna um, talk to us a little bit about how to use this? I'll, I'll keep sharing my screen so you can show me where to go click and show them anything. Hey everybody, um, my name's Adam. I'm one of the uh, support team members here with you know Kyle and Carrie. Um, you guys may have seen a little bit of my posts here and there on the the forums and whatnot. Um, really quick, because Neil just posted something in the chat, which is great. Um, he just said, "Where can the posts that were previously categorized as product feedback now? It's under wish list and feedback." That's gonna be a forum where you guys can give us suggestions or ideas or anything that you guys really, really want. Hey, Eric, um, to to make this this the Minecraft Education Edition more accessible to all of your needs. Because we really wanna be here for all of our educators, um, whether that be at home or in the classroom, we wanna make sure that we're here for you guys. So this is the forum that you guys would click on if you have ideas. Um, up at the top there, you can kind of see Wendy um, uh, showing we have some pinned really popular topics. So what we're kind of asking to keep things in a concise way that all of you guys can, you know, get information from is if there's an idea that you have, go ahead and take a look at those pinned ones and see if other people have asked about the same thing that you guys are, are requesting. Um, this will help us kind of bring every every idea and wish in that same category together. And that makes it easier for our development team to be able to take a look at, you know, how many people are wanting this, you know, this is a very popular thing. So it just really helps keep everything really clean and concise. But we love your guys's feedback. And this is the post that you want to do feedback in. And that could be even this something as simple as like, hey, it, by the way, this is a big topic, but it's 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 more of like the hey, we want the nether update. We are aware of it and everything, but that is something that um, we have pinned right here because it is very, very popular. As you can see, Wendy clicked on it um, and it kind of explains you know, our processing for that. So anytime you guys have an idea, please, we encourage you to, to leave it, but make sure you're kind of looking first to see if maybe someone else asked it, you know, you never know. And then add to that thread because that'll really help us see, you know, gauge how popular that idea is. Totally. Do you want to talk about how they can actually vote it up to? You can see here in the right column, like, boom, this, uh, there's some feedback here on this hour of code, but you can um, upvote uh, popular things, right? So if you really care about homeschooling or if you care about nether, right? Like, here we go. Here's our nether. Seven votes. So um, how could they vote that up, Adam? Um, yeah, so on your post, if you go over to the side, um, you can actually, um, there you go. <laughs> I'm watching, I'm watching as uh, um, she's doing it, but you can actually hit that little up arrow and vote it up. So if it's something that you're passionate about and maybe you don't want to leave a comment, just go ahead and vote it up because what that'll do is kind of make a, a virtual comment for yourself and it'll, it'll make it a more popular topic. And so maybe it's a topic that we don't have pinned right now, or maybe it's something that's not quite at the top, but it's a it's a topic you are passionate about. You can upvote that to make sure that it gets more popular. And if it gets popular enough, then we'll just pin it to the top because we know that it might be something that other educators really want for the program. Mm -hmm. Awesome, thanks so much. So we encourage you guys to, um, to do that and take a peek. Um, before they post and maybe you can share what happens like let's say somebody wants to start a new right they go here and go oh, I, I wish they had nether right and so i think what out of is saying right is like don't just go and type nether you might even see what happens like when they start to type adam do you want to share kind of what what happens there yeah so obviously on her screen you can see that different posts that might have the same content that you are talking about will just pop up so we ask that, you know, to again, to make sure everything is like really streamlined for all of you to, to be able to look at, um, just add to that post. You're, you guys are totally fine. Even if that post is, you know, from years and years ago, add to it. Because what that'll do is it'll ping us on the support end um, to make sure that, oh, hey, even though this topic may have been two years old, 
maybe you guys are still interested in it. And so that's something that we can, you know, look in and we can give to the development team to understand your guys' feedback. Totally. Thanks, Adam. And you can follow this as well, right? Like if you are really keen on finding out um, when things might be um, voted up. What we're going to start to do here in the next few months is um, show you the statuses of some of these, right? So if any of these, um, a lot of them will be accepting votes, meaning uh, the development team has seen that feature. That way you can just get some transparency into um, what our development team is doing. And then when the next release comes out, like it was so satisfying that we, I think Carrie actually found the original post of somebody hoping they could get it on Chromebooks and then you could turn that into released, right? Like, um, so we hope to do that too. So you can come and see, are they working on it? Are they not? Um, with the, with knowing that uh, there's so many things. So the more that your voice can come in here to help, the better. So follow it, make your own new post if you've got an idea, um, right? And it could be feedback on an existing one. It You can also tell them what you love, right? Like they love seeing that when, um, when uh, features um, or really tickle you. So make sure to say good stuff too. Do you want to tell us, Adam, a little bit about using our other two buckets? We got other two buckets under Get Help. Absolutely. And I'm just going to, um, I see in the chat, Neil again. Um, if any of your posts have disappeared, we did a migration process from the old website to the new one, and some people's posts ended up getting um, lost in that migration. So we do apologize. That was just something that happened with the new migration to the, the website. So Please don't take it personally. We didn't delete your post or anything. It just unfortunately, some things got you know lost in translation there. Um, now, if we go up to the I have a technical problem. So I'll let Wendy to click on that. So this forum is really for you guys to engage each other. So a big thing that we're trying to get is we want you guys to help each other with the similar problems that you have had yourself. So we really encourage all of our educators to, to come into this forum. And if you see a, um, an issue that a different educator has, and maybe you've had that same issue, you can kind of tell them what you did to solve that. And that's where you know, our entire community you know, forums come into play here, because we want to make sure that all of you guys are, are communicating with each other. Some of the issues might be region. You know, uh, uh, and so it'd be kind of cool to see somebody in that same region who has that same problem, how to kind of go through it and kind of check. Before you folks put in a, a technical ticket, we want to kind of look at this form and see, okay, can I find out how someone else solved my problem? And you can use that search feature at the very top to do that because our search feature will not only um, bring up articles, but it'll also bring up whatever the current response to a specific um, issue is. So like she's gonna type nether right now, if you do search, you can totally do that, Wendy. So if Wendy were to type um, nether, what's gonna come up first is gonna be the first um, comment that we've seen about the same exact issue. Now that could be a comment in the threads that could be a comment in any of our articles. So it's gonna make it so that you can kind of see what is the newest and most updated version of the answer that you're trying to find. So that's something that we really want you guys to use. And, and a big thing with technical is we wanna make sure the things we're posting in technical are actual tech issues. So these are not suggestions, these are not you know, how do I put a certain block another way? We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, these are literally like, as you can see right there is, you know, I can't log in with a student account. Okay, let's see why. You know, store for education issues, managing students in, in PowerShell. So these are actual like technical issues that, you know, maybe a few of you guys have run into and we've compiled them all right in this area. Now, again, if you, cannot find the answer you want or anything, feel free to please always click that button that says reach out for support. And it'll bring you, and it'll open a ticket to either me or Carrie or Kyle. And, and you know, we can go one-on-one -on -one with you because there are certain things that are one-off, totally fine. Um, this forum is just for you guys as educators to help each other out because, you know, a lot of educators have a specific type of um, issue that is, for their school district only, and other teachers have dealt with it before. So it's kind of a fun way for you guys to interact with each other. 
And you also can um, just right under your name, submit a help request to um, that you can categorize it. Anything that they can do to help Adam if they are, are um, trying to submit an actual support ticket to help you guys. Absolutely, because the more you guys categorize what's going on, it kind of helps us um, filter everything because we want to make sure like if something's going on with a login, we want that to go into the login pile. If something's going on with eligibility, we want that into the eligibility pile. So it's definitely like the more you guys can category and subject down your post or your request to us, the better it is and the faster we're able to get to the solution for you. Awesome. Yay. Now, and then the third say, one. Yeah. On the list. Mm -hmm. <laughs> number two on the list is I need help playing. This is a really fun one for you guys. This is all about you are running into ideas and and things that you want in the actual game itself. This is where a lot of our educators come in and start leaving comments and it's awesome. I'm really excited for you guys to, you know, that you guys have been doing that because when you're trying to create a certain thing, maybe another teacher has already done that. And so uh, you guys as educators, you feel free to please comment on there and be like, oh yeah, I've done that before in my classroom. Here's how to do it. These are ideas that they're not a wish list, but they're things in the game that you just don't know how to do. And that's okay, because you don't have to be an expert at the game. That's the point of our community boards is just to reach out to your fellow educators and make sure that um, you know you want to do something and maybe you're just not sure how to do it. Or maybe you have an idea for a lesson and you don't see it. And maybe some other educator has have already done that lesson and they can help you. So I definitely encourage, especially the I need help playing section, all of our educators to really, really co uh, connect in there and, and share ideas with each other of how you have, have taught a certain subject. I love it. And if you need help playing, Mark says, just ask a second grader, <laughs> 100%. Awesome, thanks Adam for walking us through that. Um, all right, we've got, I. I purposefully withheld what the final challenge is so that Eric maybe can't get started early. So you're going to join us in community. Go to wishlist and feedback. And I want you to think deep, deep down inside either something you love about the game and you just want to share it, a wish list item, something that you wish was in the game, um, and then just feedback, right? Like something might not be working the way you want it to. And then go to a new post and then post it, but make sure it's not there already, right? So uh, that'll be the test. You have to put a new test, a new post, and it can't already exist. So to be eligible, give us your feedback. I'm going to give maybe 90 seconds and let's see who gets in there. For those of you having account woes, sorry that you can't be eligible, but we'll, we'll get you sorted. Don't worry. Let us know while we wait. Again, we are in wish list and feedback. Take a gander, see if it exists. Maybe you search when you do the new post. And something you love, something you wish you the product had. And go ahead and practice those community guidelines, right? Like we know we're frustrated that something might not exist or you really, really wish something was there. Try to frame it positively. Think of all of our amazing developers working super duper hard to make this an awesome game. Um, and they want to include unicorns, but um, but but make your case. I think um, something that uh, we think we put it on our feedback page. Let me see if we did put it about how to um, give good feedback. Let's see if we put that there. This came from the from Bedrock team about, you know, what makes good feedback um, is make it specific, right? Um, and see and being positive about it. Let's see what we got about one more minute. Oh, here's what I was trying to find. This is what Bedrack says. What do you want done? Why do you want it done, right? So don't just say unicorns, make the case. Maybe if you really make the case about how unicorns would completely change the, the engagement level of your students, it really makes a good case for us. 
Um, and then how do you want it done? So have a thought, right? Like, especially um, our team has great focus groups. We just did one with remote learning with the advisory board and really walking through not just, um, you know, I wish it was, you know, these steps to maybe make classroom management work better, right? But really walk through, like, what do you think it would take? That really helps our development team. The more specific you can be with your feedback. All right, guys, I'm going to close the contest. Let's see, I'm going to refresh. And remember, it can't already exist somewhere. I'm going to have Kyle and, and Adam keep me honest here to make sure that it doesn't already exist somewhere. You guys know. Do we have any freshies? Oh, we got to go beyond the pin. And I Neil. will say, uh, Wendy, just to, to address something in the chat right now, David, yeah, you yeah. brought up a great wish list item that we have heard from many educators. And that's something that I'm going to challenge you. Can you find that thread? Because we do know that that is something that a lot of educators want, and we have a thread for that. Yep. Um, Adam and Kyle, because I think we have two folks here that are just getting that that loop. I think somebody had a duplicate account. Um, is it right in saying that that they might need to su submit a ticket for that? I'm not sure if we can um, troubleshoot that on the chat. What would you guys like for the? I think there's maybe Minecrafter guest is having an issue still with that. Would would that be the best next step for someone who's not able to log in? Uh, yeah, they can go ahead and create a ticket. That'll be good. Awesome. Yeah, thanks guys. I'm not sure what's going on. Unless you can, unless you, Adam or Kyle, if you can help guide them through the chat too, now it might be a good thing. Um, cool. Make sure, David, you drop that in. Oh, you can't log in. Okay, we'll put it for you, David. Sorry about that. I'll make sure we drop that in. So let's see. We've got our first one that came in was, oh, not another. Was it Chris? Is Chris on the call 12 minutes ago? Eric, oh my gosh, you guys, we can't give Eric again. It, that looks like our most recent one. Uh, so we got to go to the next one. It might be ants. Let's see if M M Amanda made a good case for ants. Ooh, phonics things. I like that. So she's made a case. It's specific. Now we could upvote and be like, ants would be pretty sweet. All right, upvote it. All right, Amanda, you can email us. Sorry, Eric, you got your one, but um, email mcedu at microsoft.com. And thanks, guys. And hopefully now... Oh, easy way for sharing. Thank you, Mitzi. These are great. More skins and then just fun. Um, thanks for the positive feedback, Holly. Yay. Um, yeah. yeah. Can we go to the main community hub page just really quick to show folks who are interested in submitting a ticket just how to do that really quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. So if you guys click on community and support. And if you look at the uh, under community topics, there's an entire little um, a sentence there. The last uh, part of the sentence says reach out to support. That's a link and that's how you would submit a ticket. There we go. We can click submit a request. There it is. And it should be at the bottom of any support article as you're reading it. And then again, my favorite way is I always come up here <laughs> if I need it, but do read, search, give it a go first, because I would say, I, gosh, I don't know what percentage, but a large percentage of answers do live within here. They're common problems that everyone has. Awesome, everyone. Thank you for helping build out our wish list. Um, keep it coming as you hear things from students. Again, search, see if it's already there. If it is, upvote it or add your own rationale. Um, and then you can go down to our community members, everybody. You can click connect. Um, and once you make your profile here, you'll show up in here as well. We got Ben here, and you can see their comments. One quick note, everybody, this is um, in, a, in a few weeks, we're still syncing it over, but you'll be able to see your mentor badges. You'll be able, be able to see all the same things that you would find under this profile database um, on our on our main page, right? Um, so stay tuned. That should have parity soon, so you can also see the same stuff here with our mentors um, in our community hub as well. And that's it, folks. We gave away a couple prizes. Most people got in, and the people who couldn't, we hopefully have next steps for you. Um, hopefully, you're following a few of our topics to stay engaged. Uh, I'll drop in again our remote learning month sign up for our next events. Um, and thank you all so much. We'll stick around for a couple minutes for any questions. Ah, thanks, David, for asking. So we encourage you, we should have a, a topic in there that we hope you follow 
um, and the team is very, very deeply searching for um, for the next step in multiplayer, right? We encourage you to come to our remote learning month, particularly Stephen's week, we're gonna deep dive. And part of that too, is we want to continue to get your ideas for what works. As you can imagine, um, it's not a simple solution and we want to make sure we get it right. So please trust the team is definitely um, looking into it. We want your feedback into that, what you would need as a teacher, right? There's just a few different models that you could go in a few different directions. So we want your voice in that. So be sure to follow that thread um, in the wish list, add your voice um, and, and help be a part of the conversation. Thanks, David. Great questions. Thanks, Susan. Great to have you here. Huge thanks to Adam, Stephen, Alex, Kyle on the Minecraft team for helping out today. Um, we can't wait to see you at our next community event and to see you online. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Amanda. Nice to see you, Lori. Awesome. Shout out from Alex to keep the conversation going, not only in our formal community, but all of you have a bunch of Twitter handles to follow now. So why not tag them and say, hey, so great to see you at that Minecraft event. Uh, I heard you like to do this. So connect even outside of our formal community. Um, yeah, absolutely. Our, our email address for the community, just dropping it in. And if you won a prize today, if you didn't, everybody, you can also reply in our form or post a classroom build challenge. Um, we're also monitoring those until August 31st to win some swag. Thanks for coming, Patrick. Great to have you. Thank you. Thanks, Eric. Awesome. Thanks, Mitzi. Thanks for your great um, question and the wish list and feedback. Thank you, Deepak. Go to bed. <laughs>